Hey guys, and welcome back to my ch uh, channel, uh, Malik here, and today I'll just be talking to you about the newly announced, not yet released, Intel Haswell architecture-based CPUs, and today, or now, I'll be, talk I'll be showing you and going over a few things about what Intel is basically going to be focusing on now. Now, and first of all, I'll just like to run into uh, the architecture based on which is Haswell, which I would say that this new architecture brings much more lower TDP which is the uh how much power it will be consuming and the power it'll be consuming with is about 84 watts other CPUs the previous generation CPUs which is running at 77 I would understand that because that that was uh, that's on Ivory Bridge and this is a new architecture so you know, possibly the next generation, maybe the 5770K will be, you know, you would see the lower TDP as that goes on. They're aiming it for more enthusiasts because of the performance increase to this generation type of CPUs. You can see anywhere from like 12 to about 50% given the resolution that you're, you'll be running your benchmarks on. And with this new Haswell process, these n these new Haswell processors, you'll see a new um, platform for I get the socket, which is going to be uh, LGA eleven fifty, and with that comes some features. And well, the first feature would be the frequency in it. It's going to be at a stock clock. It'll be running at 3.5 gigahertz with a turbo boost up to 3.9 and it has a 22 nanometer manufacturing process you know the um, four cores eight threads with the turbo turbo hyper threading technology and it comes with eight, eight megabytes of level three cache and it also comes with a new some new on chip peripherals maybe not new but updated with is the uh dual channel DDR3 memory controller direct media interface PCI Express 3.0 interface and HD 4600 graphics controller all being powered by the 84 watt TDP the con consumption of power is going lower is because Intel has decided to focus their you know put their eyes on in the mobile market which I guess they they want to see what they can do with that market comparing to like they're they've been dominating the CPU market for quite a while now and I guess they're looking for new ways to to you know, find an open market so you would wonder what you you can basically see when like with the lower TDP you'll you'll see them moving more into the mobile market because when when you have phones that want to run at real, real very fast and not consume a lot of energy that's basically what Intel's looking for and you know maybe maybe later on AMD might have something maybe but you know there's there's some talks about how AMD may have something to go against the uh the current Ivy Ridge processors, but we'll see when that matter comes about. Thank you guys for watching the video and to uh, keep updated with any recent videos and other things that I have posted on my channel. You know, it'll be great if you can subscribe and like the video to show me that you appreciate what the information that I put out. And thank you guys for watching and. I'll catch you in the next video.